Yes? Well, is, uh, is there something I can do for you? Oh, I'm from the Welfare Association. I'm collecting old clothes. Oh, yes. Well, I'm afraid that I don't have any old clothes. Anything at all will do, no matter how old the clothes are. No, you see, I, I don't keep any old clothes. But it's such a worthy cause. Surely you have something that you'll never wear again. Well, um, I'll tell you, I'll see what I have in that back closet if you'll just come back later, all right? I don't mind waiting. It's no trouble, really. All right, I'll just be a minute. I was just admiring your kitchen. It's so practical. Well, it serves the purpose. You have a beautiful house. Did the decorator do it? No, a friend of mine gave me some ideas. Oh, I see. Well, I'm thinking of buying a new divan. May I ask how much this one cost? Well, I, uh, I really have no idea. Oh, I'm afraid these aren't very practical. I hope there's something here you can use. They're lovely. I'm sure they can be made over. Here's an old raincoat now. Maybe some man can use that. Your husband must be a tall man. Yes, he is. I have trouble keeping mine on a diet. Do you have that problem? No, I'm afraid that I uh, rather indulge mine. Thank you. Oh, uh, goodbye. Hello? Mrs. Hendricks? Yes? This is Miss Inglewood down at the office. I've been trying to reach you all afternoon. Yes. I went shopping. Your husband asked me to let you know he was called out of town. But he couldn't have. He left the car at home. Yes, I know. He took a company car. He said it would be rather late, Mrs. Hendricks. He had to go all the way to Lockton. Locked. Mrs. Hendricks, are you all right? Yes, Miss Inglewood, I'm quite all right. Well, what a pleasant surprise. Is, is there something wrong? I mean, you're three days early. Well, there's something we've got to discuss. Marsha's being very difficult. I thought I could smooth it over, but I couldn't. Well, I suppose it had to come to a choice sooner or later. I'm glad you're taking it so well. Oh. So Marsha wins. Well, after all, I'm married to her. Sure, it wasn't any contest at all, was it? I thought if we didn't see each other for a while, a few months, just long enough to satisfy Marsha, then we could pick up where we left off. Well, how very clever of you to work it out so neatly. Now, don't be like that, darling. I'm sorry. I understand. I'll miss you, of course. 
You know that. Might not be as long as we think. Where is he? Is he all right? What are you talking about? I'm Marsha Hendricks. Where's Charles? You're his wife. I put something in the sugar bowl this afternoon. What do you mean? It's poison. I got it from the hospital where I used to work. You were trying to poison me. I never dreamed that Charles would come here today. I tried to telephone you. Then I drove just as fast as I could to get here in time. Mrs. Hendricks, you didn't get here in time. You know Charles and his coffee? Exactly two teaspoons full for every cup. I sat there and watched him do it. I, I had no idea it was poisoned. Where is he? Well, he left here about an hour ago. We have to find him. We have to get him to a doctor. I'll go to the police. If you go to the police, you'll have to tell them how Charles got that poison. I'm going to the police. Mrs. Hendricks, if he's dead, you're a murderess. Nothing matters except Charles. Oh, just some woman from the uh, Welfare Association, collecting old clothes. Oh? Maybe it's just as well we're calling it off. I'm getting mighty tired of hiding every time that doorbell rings. That is rather undignified, isn't it? But, add spice. Too much seasoning can spoil any dish. Well, your troubles will soon be over. You'll be safe at home with uh, Marsha. You know, marriage does have certain advantages. Yes, I recall making that same remark. Oh, let's not go through that again. wonderful times together, didn't we, Charles? Of course we did, darling. It was perfect. I wanted it to be. You want to know a secret? Uh-huh. I've been learning to cook for you. I'd give anything if it didn't have to be this way. You sure you don't want a divorce, Marsha? I'm afraid that's out of the question. All right, darling. At least we can part friends. Haven't you got time for a cup of coffee with... An old friend. Of whom I'll always be very fond. I hope you always will. How about one for the road? With an old friend. Why not? One for the road. <laughs> 